Hello everyone, welcome to my video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to record game video along with audio from the game and audio from your microphone. Um, to do that I would use Fraps definitely to record game video and audio. It's a very good program. It records stuff really well and yeah that's what I use and it works fine. If you can watch my videos you definitely can tell that it works. Anyways to start, if, if you're watching this video, you obviously cannot record your game video along with audio from your game and from your microphone either. There's a problem with only recording from your microphone or you're only recording from the game. And if that's the case, I'll show you how to fix that. First off, I'm using Windows Vista. Windows, actually, I'm using Win, uh, Windows 7, but it's the same as Windows Vista. And it's a little bit different for XP, so if you're using XP right now, you're kind of outdated try to get Windows 7 it's awesome it's not I'm on release candidate something right now I don't know the number but yeah I would upgrade to Windows 7 definitely um, anyways go down here to the bottom make sure you have an orange real t I'm using Realtek by the way uh, Realtek HD audio make sure you have the orange one if you don't you need to install the drivers if you do not have this orange thing down here or if you go to your control panel and let's go back to the normal if you do not see Realtek HD audio in here at all or any type of audio drivers then you need to install them I'm using an ASUS motherboard ASUS P5Q SER um, make sure you install them if you do not have your audio drivers you cannot go any further so I'll put a link in the sidebar how to download them just follow the link and download the thing that you need for the operating system that you have and you should be able to be good from then okay go here to your speakers considering that you have your orange button now go to your speakers recording devices and it should show up like this if you do not have stereo mix then right click show disabled show disconnected click the, both of those make sure they're checked so then you can see stereo mix okay now that you have stereo mix shown uh, let's see right click it and make sure it's set as default set as default for both uh, de default device and default communication device uh, make sure that both of those are selected for this then go to properties make sure everything's set up right it's max volume I guess not muted and yeah everything else really doesn't matter just leave it as default and then go to your microphone whatever it is it might have a different name but go to properties uh, go to levels make sure it is not muted and you can set a microphone boost if you figure out that oh my gosh I can barely hear myself that's your microphone boost. It'll get a little bit louder, a little quieter, or whatever. But the loud, louder you get, you hear more static and all that stuff. And my microphone's really, really outdated and horrible, and I do not like it at all. I'm going to be getting a new one soon. It's broken, but I'm just using this for this tutorial just because. Anyways, once you're done, click OK, and you should be fine. Uh, speak, playback doesn't really matter, I guess. If you can't hear anything, that's your volume. Once you're done, click OK. Get out of there. Um, open up Volume Mixer. Also, make sure that everything is not muted. Everything is set up fine. Everything's max volume. It's a lot better. Um, anyways, now that you have that set up, you should be able to record your audio and video from both your microphone and your game sounds. And I'll just show you. Open up Fraps. Load up this my Fraps. Go over to the Movie tab and click over go down here to uh, record sound make sure that's definitely checked and then go to use windows best input do not have detect best input because I'm pretty sure that'll only do sound that comes out of your speakers and you're gonna want more than that if you're watching this video obviously so go to windows best input and it should say stereo mix uh, real take HD audio if it doesn't say that if it says like audio not found or no device input or something like that then you need to install your drivers you did not listen to me earlier and you did not listen to or you did not install your drivers and that's your own fault so go back and install them you shouldn't even be here anyways it also can say like what you hear or wave or something like that if you have a different audio driver um, then that that's fine too um, but this is my mine's for stereo mix. Um, anyways, uh, pro tip for you guys just watching this video, I guess a little bonus. I found out a way to record 
with less lag while using fraps and that is to partition your hard drive me uh, not control panel I want to go to com my computer my computer okay I partitioned my hard drive one for Windows Vista one for Windows 7 which I'm using right now which is nice and one for uh, media drive I'm using a one terabyte hard drive so I've got quite a lot of space okay I partitioned a media drive all it is partition it, put a file or a folder in there for my recordings, completed videos, and all that stuff. Um, it I found out when you record to this drive for some reason, it makes it no there's no lag basically. Uh, I'm guessing because it doesn't put as much stress on it, and plus I'm not using up all my space. I only have 30 more gigs left in my C drive. And I could I have 140 gigs in this one, and it can. I can record a couple hours, maybe two hours before it fills up. So that's a nice little pro tip for you guys. That allows me to record at 60 frames per second full screen by on a 1680 by 1050. Um, if you, I also have though an, an 8400 uh, processor, Core 2 Duo, and a GTX 260, so I can do that stuff. Um, if you have a little bit outdated computer, I would recommend going to 30 frames per second, maybe half size if it's still lagging a bit, or set your natural resolution in the game, like set it to maybe like uh, 800 by 600 or something else. You might not be able to do uh, HD uh, videos. HD video, you need at least 720, 700 uh, resolution is your smallest you can go. So make sure it's maybe like a 1200 by 720 or whatever the resolution is. I don't go that low. But anyways, make, uh, I set it to full screen, 60 frames per second. It loads fine. Um, if you have any problems, if you this did not solve anything for you. If you have any questions, you know, send me an email or or send me a message on here or uh, comment, whatever. But if, if this worked for you, comment saying thanks. It's always nice. I like reading thanks comments. It's nice. Um, yeah, well, that's how I do this. I don't think there's anything else for me to show. Uh, for If you're curious of how I recorded the screen, I'm using Cam Studio. Right here is a really nice program, camstudio.org. It's free. It uh, records screens like Camtasia, which a lot of people have been using, but that's that's not free, and it's bigger, and it has a video editor in it, and I don't really need that. I just want to record the video. I'll use Virtual Dub to compress my files after I use Fraps. So... Yeah, this thing's nice, free. I would recommend using it. Time elapsed. Dang, this is a long video. Anyways, that's my video. Hope you learned something from it. Let me know. If you want to play with me on Steam or something, I play Left 4 Dead all the time. My name is I3UU. Or, don't understand that, that's Boo. It's I3UU is my name. Hit me up, we can play a game. I like to scream and do crazy stuff. Maybe you'll be in one of my videos. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out. This is getting long. Okay, goodbye.